Hey guys, and welcome to Cryplays Under Hell Chapter 1. So, this is a source mod. It's made by the guys who made Nightmare House 2 and Under Hell Prologue. I'm not gonna bore your ass with stupid shit you don't care about, but I played the first Under Hell almost two years ago, so I've been looking forward to this. I'm gonna give it a shot now. Back to this house. Fun. What was that noise? I should check the backyard. In this rain, sure. Why the fuck not? Because getting an umbrella is just stupid. Oh, right, the diary. Well, that is the same house, so. Okay, backyard, kitchen. Hey there. I should get the flashlight from the bottom drawer in the hall. Okay. Should be one of you. There you are. No, come here. Hey, hey. No, come here. There we go. Whoa. My reflection doesn't follow what I do. That's even creepier than before. Okay. Let's go. Bring it on. I think I need the flashlight. I can see pretty well out here. Either way, I'm just inspecting a lightning... Whoa. Is that what the lightning bolt did? Damn. Well, I guess so. At least there's no property damage. Just natural damage. It's not even a word. No. Oh, well. Guess I'm gonna go back to sleep in soggy clothes. Unless I'm walking around naked, which I'm pretty sure I'm not. Let me check. No, I went to bed in a long sleeve shirt, jeans, and shoes. I don't know how to properly dress for sleep, but that's fine. Hey, bed. Let's get to it, then. Thanks, Dreamcatcher. Wherever you there you are. I have one of you. Oh, it's blinking. Can I play with it? Dreamcatcher. Whoa, no! Put it back! Put, put it, no, no, no! Shit! Oh, there you are. There we go. I don't want to have nightmares again. I've been there before. Hello? Random things are getting bright. Hmm. Okay. And I can still play the drums on my walls. I guess I'll go check my computer? I think that's what you did in Underhill. It's been ages. Computer. I still have not upgraded my operating system. Doot, doot, there we go. Hey, Jake, man. How are you holding up? Hmm. I guess that's a stupid question. Listen, I just wanted to tell you if you need anything. Anything. You just ask, alright? I know you got Frank and you guys are tight, but... I'm serious, man. You got me too. And everyone from the squad is here for you. Like fucking cried, man. I mean, you're not alone in this. Call me, alright? I'm serious, man. Call us and let's go have a drink. Talk to you soon, bro. I feel like I've read that one before. Oh, sweet! Definitely feel like... I've done this one before. 
Also, those are all Counter-Strike things at the bottom. Fancy. Uh, go away. What? I heard some... Oh. Cool. I want to leave this. I feel like it told me how to leave this, but I don't remember how to leave... Hey, I found it. All right. Okay. They heard something beyond the fog. Okay, we're doing this. Hey, fog. How you how you been? All right, Jake. Can you hear me? Look up to the control room if you hear me. Hey. Good. So this is your big day, huh? Don't worry. You're gonna do just fine. Move on to the next area whenever you're ready. Sir, yes, sir. I feel like I'm playing Cow of Duty. I'm going to assume it's this one. Alright. Let's start with the basics. Get through this room as fast as you can. Jump, duck, climb, crawl through the vent, and get up to the ladder on the other side. Okay. If you jump and then crouch in midair, you'll be able to climb some high spots. You just need to time it right. You can even climb in very tight areas like vents by doing so. As you can oh see, my god! Doing a lot of physical action can tie you quite a bit. You want to make sure you don't run out of stamina, or else you won't be able to jump, sprint, or stay in the water for too long. Remember, it's all about your breathing, so don't forget to breathe. I forgot I had power kicks! I forgot all about the fact I had power legs. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. It's dark in here. Time to use your shoulder flashlight. As you can see, you don't have any spare batteries in your flashlight. Only the one it's currently using. Once these run out, your flashlight won't work properly. Look around the drawers for some batteries. I did. Now they open. I can't even... Come on. No. You come here. There we go. Nope. Sons of bitches. Okay. Th give me the last one. Thank you. Isn't that better? A working flashlight and night vision. Keep in mind that a flashlight is very noticeable, especially in the dark. That's why you have your night vision to remain undetected. But keep in mind, it uses twice as much battery as your flashlight. Okay. See that lever near the door? Flip it. Okay. Alright. See that door with the keypad on it? It has a randomized code system. The code changes every 10 seconds. You will find the code somewhere on a tablet in the drawers. The code on the tablet updates accordingly. When you find it, you'll have to type it in before it changes. Alright. 416. That oh, fuck. Two four seven two. Uh, uh, two four seven two. Well done. Remember to be accurate when you use keypads. Some of them might have a limited number of tries, and an alarm might go off if you mess up three times in a row. Noted. All right. Let's talk about your inventory now. As you can see, there are some objects on the tables. You might want to get familiar with them. You can't carry everything you find out there. You have to think about what you will need the most, and that's your decision. The medkit is your best friend. It'll stop any bleeding you might have and allow you to get right back into the action. Glow sticks and flares can help you out if you don't have batteries. But keep in mind, flares are loud and won't help you remain undetected. Okay. Oh. The health spray will clean the wound and make you feel a bit better. The bandages will help to stop the bleeding if you get injured. The body armor and helmets will reduce the amount of damage you take, protecting you from potential bleeding effects. Okay. Ugh. 
Good. Perfect. Okay. We rarely are in combat situations that last more than a day, but you always want to make sure you have a few protein-heavy rations and sugar-heavy drinks with you. You need to be at your maximum potential. And feeding yourself correctly is a very important part of making sure you give it your best. Keep it in mind. Sir, yes sir. You gave me a sandwich that is of the triangle variety? That means I'm going to be eating well this day. I tried to say evening and day at the same time and I fucked up. Alright. Well then. I guess this way. No. Well, it's true, dude. You set yourself up for failure there. Hmm. I can't seem to kick that either. I can't seem to kick anymore at all. This is horrible. I miss my kicks. Huh. Camera? Hmm. Well then. Over here? Is there... Oh, here we go. Weapons training. Weapons training. I bet you are itching to get in there. Let's start with the sidearms. We'll work our way up. Grab the Glock on the table. This is the Glock 17. It's, it's deadly and it's reliable. Try to hit the bottles on the concrete. As you can see, firing from the hip is not an easy business, especially with a sidearm. You might want to aim down your sights for better precision. Yep. Did it. I'm gonna, gonna take this one now. Oh, oh, drop it. I, I don't know. Fuck it. Right, nice shooting. Let's get to the submachine guns now. Pick up that MP5. Ready. I'm gonna randomly pop up targets in the shed. I want you to hit them as they pop up. Alright, do it. Bring it. I'm good. I'm still good. Still got it. Bring me a challenge, fool. That guy kind of got hurt. That guy doesn't love me anymore. I'm out of bullets. Good job. Now pick up another weapon from the table. Your choice this time. Oh, this one. You can only carry one weapon of each type on the field. You need to be light on your feet, and carrying an arsenal isn't ideal. I'm gonna be popping up two targets now. Get ready. Ready! Let's go. I'm so fucking talented! This is nothing. See how many games of Counter-Strike I've played on my computer? On my Windows XP system? I got this shit in my sleep. Oh fuck. One got away. Let's see how it is. Alright, nice shooting. You got this. Now let's move on to the next area for a tactical simulation. You can grab some ammo from the crates behind you before you move on. Way ahead of you, Ace. I, I want to get some of the other the other gun. I, I need, I need. Can I get bullets for that here? There we go. Wow, I have a lot of bullets. Good. All right. Oh, uh, this way. Oh hey. Hey, what's up, Jake? It's me, Mike. You recognize me under all this gear? <laughs> uh, it's your standard loadout: uh, vest, mask, that whole deal. Nothing you're not familiar with. But, but take a good look. You do well to get used to what a friendly target looks like. In the field, you have a split second to identify and neutralize a suspect. And you better be sure it's a bad guy. So Mike volunteers for that part. Whenever you want to give orders, you have to be accurate and efficient. Ask Mike to go nearby the door. 
Give me a second, Mike. I'm back, Mike. Uh, go. Good. If you send your squad mates somewhere and go away, they will eventually try to come back and find you. It's not really smart to leave your mates behind. Now, order him to regroup. I, I did. All right. Sometimes, in specific circumstances, you will have to give your signal to your team. Whenever you do so, they will breach and clear the area. Once the assault has been given, they might not stop to wait for you, and will do their job with or without you. So once you give the signal, be sure to stick with your team. All right, you ready for this? Once you give the signal, we're gonna make entry and clear the ghost town of all the targets. We'll do a head count at the end. You ready? Yes. Let's fuck shit up. I wanna fuck shit up. Let's go. I wanna fuck shit up. Keep it up, Mike, or whatever the fuck your name was. Come on, Mikey. Let's go. Target in the shed. Target in the open too. Take him out there, Mikey. I got this area. We got this. Hey, they almost have my back, Mikey. Breach. Hey, kick down the door. Can do. Fuck yeah. Uh, uh. Shit. Mikey didn't shoot for some reason. Got that guy. Uh, there's a lot of targets in the shed, apparently, Mikey. Guy up there, Mikey. Oh, that's the guy who's telling us how to do things. Good thing there's glass. Strong glass. Okay, come on, Mikey. Mikey. Let's do it. Oh. Good. I win, right? Damn! You beat me on your first run? I don't believe it! Hey, hey, who's training who here, huh? Yep. Alright. Let's wrap this up. Stack up. Nope. Alright, I'm coming. Hey. Whoa. Hey, untie me, quick! Release me! Alright. I got gotcha. you. Uh. Hey, untie me! Release me! Uh, ah, I couldn't kick you. I wanted to do it. I can't. What are you waiting for? Untie me! I was trying to kick you, alright? Jeez! Whoa! Bang. You're dead. Oh. Uh. Fucking knew it. And the last and most important of all rules. Everyone is a potential hostile. Do not take hostages for granted. You never know who is a perp. Appearances can be deceiving. Only use lethal force when necessary, but never let your guard down. That's why I wanted to kick him! Welcome to special weapons and tactics, Jake. If there was a dog taking a bathroom break in front of the door, it would have been a really cool moment, but there wasn't. Oh. I am at the shed in the back of my... No, I'm in the front of the house. Okay. Hmm. Well, I had a flashback. It felt pretty good. But it's gone now. A battery charger device. This thing. I'll be taking this with me and dropping it here. Is that... I thought I heard bangs. I guess not. Oh well, I suppose I'll check my mail. Wait. I hear something in the f Okay. Check my mail first. That thing? Crazy bowler. Crazy prices for all the family. Thank you for the offer. I'll be going now. Yep. Everything will be great. Oh, okay. I suppose this is something that can happen sometimes.
What the? What the hell is that thing? Shut up! Come on, boys. have a lovely time. You'll probably have good snacks, and you will bring it to me, and I will pay you for them, and I will have Doritos. Not a problem. in his face. Jeez. Gosh, I can't talk to anybody. I can't be friends with anyone. Everyone's always so grumpy. I don't even remember why I'm here. I mean, I think it was because of something I had to do with me killing a bunch of people, but uh, it's been a moment. A moment? A minute? It's been a while. Ah, well. Hopefully this is going to be a nice, friendly experience. Hey, got a transfer here. Hey, wait a minute. Weren't you supposed to send up the North Wing? Told to bring this one here. Is there a problem? No, no problem. He needs to sign the checkpoint. You sign the checkpoint. I will draw a kitty paw print. Jay Cockfield. Huh. Alright, I'll call it in. They should have a cell ready for him when he get there. Understood. Open the doors. Opening. You know, this is kind of like a fancy restaurant where they gotta prepare the table for me and this is the waiter or guy, the host, and he's just taking me somewhere, you know, to my table. That's what this is. It's just a bit dirtier, a little less friendly. Nice guys, really. Probably gonna end up killing them. I can handle it. I mean, I got power feet. Can I do it here? No. Leave me alone, man. I got nothing to do with this. That's not what I heard. I heard you were the man. Well, you heard wrong, I. I don't know shit. That's the old thing. Sorry. I said get a move on. Hey! Whoa! 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 I was just eavesdropping! Jeez! Crimity! Why are you guys so glum? They probably didn't bring you your snack cakes. Locker room. Alright. Hey, I got no transfer. Open up. Is this where I can store all of my devices? Maybe my items and gill? And I can come back here later? Probably not. Well, you know, 
We haven't had time to clean them all, though. Might be risky to put them in there. Who gives a shit? There is some guy going here soon. Gas mask or no gas mask? People are dying. And it appears to be completely random. You heard about Rick? Yeah, I heard about Rick. He's messing around with other inmates, so... Why are you surprised? Yeah, well... Hmm. That inmate didn't die in the cell, so I'm guessing it's pretty clean. Cell W-17. going to die in a very sad state of affairs. Also, this is where I take showers. I already Get took one though. On. Stop saying that! Don't you threaten me with your baton! Jeez! Everyone's so grumpy here. I didn't do shit to them. Sure, I killed hundreds of people probably, but... You know, I didn't do it to them personally. Oh well. I guess I get an upstairs room at least, so that's cool. I am not even close to it. You have a fucking power trip problem, don't you? Oh my god, I can see my teeth and it's terrifying. Hey, fuck you! Hey, fuck you! God! Alright. What's up? W17. I don't even know how you label these ones. Hey, man. Are you my neighbor? No. Maybe... Oh, this guy's my neighbor. Hey, dude. No, it's not. Damn. You? I don't even have a neighbor! That sucks! I'm trying. Bye. Gosh. Alright. Do you want me to... Do you want me to lay down? I could do that. Oh. Um. Can I have some reading material, please? Or maybe a tablet PC? I would like to read my stories. I guess not. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh dear. <sighs> All right, shiny yellow bed. Just you and me. wasn't so hard. I thought I would have to like tunnel out of stuff and probably have to take a few years out of my life. You know, the uh... God damn. Uh oh, there's a flood! No! There's water everywhere! No! Oh fuck! This is bad! It's rising! It's rising! Oh, God. Um, okay. No, it's not even open. The showers, they must have left it on. Shit. Crap, all right. Wait, what? In the reflection, I can see my house. That doesn't make sense. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, uh, I must be under, underwater, and, and, oh, no. This is one of those wet dreams I was told about. I'm gonna wake up and my pants gonna be so soggy, I'm gonna have to get changed, eh? Hey, you. Gordon wants to see you. Get yourself cleaned up. I'll see you at the locker room. Okay. 